Hey guys, Cassandra here with ProsperousHeart.com and I'm coming at you with this video because this is video two of my 62 day challenge. I'm playing a little bit of catch up, so that's why I'm wearing the same shirt, which is amazing by the way. Oh my gosh, is this not super, super cool? Ugh, so anyways, um, <laughs> so the 62 day challenge is again about helping you achieve more time and financial freedom in your life, helping you achieve more success, and basically living a more happy and well-rounded life. So. I am starting off this challenge with something about entrepreneurialism. Now you may have no intentions of being an entrepreneur and that's perfectly fine. But if you would like to become an entrepreneur, if you currently own a business or, you know, maybe you're looking to expand it or do something like that, then, you know, you already are on the, on the right mindset track, you know, but for those who are maybe a little bit more afraid of entrepreneurialism, you know, you're afraid of the risk, you're afraid of, of the time that it's going to take to, to learn what you need to learn so you can be successful, the money it's going to take for you to actually start up your business, whatever it is that you're afraid of, I've got you, to, I, I, okay, I've got to tell you, you have to understand that this fear that's stopping you from doing this is also stopping you from achieving success. You will not be successful if you do not take risks. No one, no one ever who is successful has got that way by not taking risks. Okay. So I'm talking to you about being an entrepreneur today because there are so many more benefits that outweigh any potential fear or risk that you can possibly imagine being an entrepreneur. Okay. Here's why. So, um, first of all, sometimes people think that entrepreneurs are bad people. You know, they think that whole mental mindset about, um, you know, if you're rich, you're a bad person, you're selfish or whatever. But I'm here to tell you that every person I've ever met who is successful and who has made a lot of money, and I mean a lot of money, they are some of the most humble, self-sacrificing people I've ever met. Okay, so if you have that idea, that belief that rich people are selfish or rude or whatever, that is your experience and you are attracting that to yourself. I'll go, I'll talk about that in another video. But I just want you to understand that most people who are in that position really are some of the most philanthropic people I've, I've met. Okay. So the things that I like about being an entrepreneur are, are these. You have the ability to create jobs for people. There's a, um, in Robert Kiyosaki's new book, and I don't remember the title of it, but it has something to do with the military. <laughs> um, he, he shows this graph, uh, and it's an inversion graph of of how in um the great depression no sometime I'll, I'll okay if you're watching this i'll put i'll post the information on my blog i'll put the link down below or up above um but i'll put that there so you can check on the information so you have accurate data but when you when you go there it's going to show you information about i think it's like the the number of jobs overseas that goes up and the number of unemployed i don't know I'll, I'll post it, but anyway, when you have entrepreneurs, they are creating more opportunity for more people to get those jobs and make money. So when that happens, you know, uh, the economy goes up because people are buying more stuff and because people are buying more stuff, taxes are being taken out of that. So it helps the economy, it helps the government. Um, it, it, it provides families with more money it allows for people to try out more things because as an entrepreneur, you might have a job position that's not available at in most companies, depending on what you're doing, right? So like I said, being an entrepreneur, you get, you have the ability to create jobs for people because you can't do everything by yourself, you know? So um, other thing is that you have the option to donate proceeds from your business to your favorite charities or nonprofit organizations. You have the chance to break chains of poverty over people and families because as an entrepreneur, you know, if you've got a heart like I do where you want to serve others, when you, when you, when you let me break it down for you. If you, you've probably heard of the, the parable, I, mean, I don't know if it's a parable, but, um, where Christ says, you know, feed a man a fish and he eats for a day or give a man a fish, he eats for a day, teach a man a fish and he feeds generations. I may have butchered that quote, but that's basically true. If you teach someone how to do something, then they can teach their children who will teach their children and their children how to do it. And it improves over time because people continue to make learning 
opportunities. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to call them mistakes because that's a negative term. They, they have these learning opportunities where that when they overcome it, they can more easily finish it the next time. So, you know, you have the ability to break chains of poverty across people by teaching people what you learn, how you were successful and how you got where you were. You know, um, you have the ability to impact generations of families because if you're an entrepreneur like myself and you're doing home businesses that provide re um, continuing residual income month after month that pays for in excess of your bills, that is money, guys, that changes people way long after you're dead. OK, so that's why for me, it's important to not only be an entrepreneur, but be a mentor to other entrepreneurs and to help them achieve what it is that they're wanting to do in their business, whether it's traditional network marketing, whether it's a brick and mortar business, whether it's um, an uh, e-commerce, whether it's, you know, whatever it is that you are doing to create more income for yourself and your family, I want to help you achieve that. And, and entrepreneurs are the way to go that if you want to make more money, that's the way to go. And I'll talk about that in the next video as to why that is, why you want to be an entrepreneur. So this is, and actually it's a little slightly different because this was kind of why <laughs> I thought, anyway, this is, that's all I'm going to share for now. This is Cassandra with prosperousheart.com. If you like what you, what you um, heard today and want to be updated, go on over to my blog if you're not already here. And it'll be in the up bottom or down bottom at prosperousheart.com. Join my mailing list. You'll get updates with all kinds of great information, including some, some free tools. If you would like to actually lock arms with me and my mentors and, and our team, then I will also provide that link in wherever you're seeing this. And that's about it. Oh, connect with me. Connect with me on whatever social media outlet that you'd like. You know, I'm on Pinterest. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I'm sure I'm in others. <laughs> Go ahead and connect with me. I'll put that information in the box as well. So again, from my prosperous heart to yours, I hope you guys have a wonderful and absolutely prosperous rest of your day. Thanks, guys.